tapes, we're too emotional, right? We're too sensitive. Like, if I were to make a sex tape with some guy, you know, from like five years ago, popping it now, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah. I'd be like, oh my God, I miss him so much. <laughs> I'm gonna find him on Facebook. I'm gonna... <laughs> not like that. Like, I have girlfriends who will text message naked photos of themselves to their man, which I guess the whole point of that is to be like, oh, here's what's waiting for you at home, big boy. <laughs> photos. If I was to do a here's what's waiting for you at home photo shoot, I would take some pictures of the freaking dishes, okay? <laughs> the bills right now. My vagina's not waiting for you at home at all. It's trying to book me an acting job. It is... <laughs> Very busy right now. I'm just not sexy like that. I feel like girls are sexy now. I'm not a sexy girlfriend. All I do in relationships is fight. That's all I ever do in relationships. But the thing is that women, we are amazing fighters, right? We are amazing fighters. We are like emotional ninjas, right? Our favorite tactic is the silent treatment. That is our jam, right? Our man pisses us off. He pissed me off. I'm not gonna talk to him for the rest of the day. I'm gonna show him. Ladies, the silent treatment is not a punishment. <laughs> it's a freaking reward, okay? He's like, oh, thank God she shut the hell up. Oh my God. I love the silent treatment. I get to watch Sports Center again today. I'm gonna forget her birthday every year. <laughs> Ladies, next time your man pisses you off, do not give him the silent treatment. Instead, go Google the most important game of the season, sit next to him during that game and just ask as many fucking questions as possible. I don't understand, who's that guy in the striped shirt? Does he work at Foot Locker? I don't understand, why are they all wearing the same outfit? When are we gonna have a baby? Eventually he will shoot himself in the face and you fucking win that argument.